Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see what is total pressure and center of pressure. In order to explain total pressure and center of pressure, first I will draw a diagram. Now here there is a tank inside which there is a static liquid for example we can take water and inside that tank a plate is immersed this plate can have any given shape like it can be a rectangular plate it can be circular plate triangular plate or any other cross section. Now when that plate is immersed into the static liquid there will be a force exerted by the liquid on this plate and that force is called as total pressure by reading this we may consider that this is total pressure and it looks similar to intensity of pressure but it is not intensity of pressure this total pressure is a force also called as hydrostatic force which would be exerted by the static liquid on this plate and that hydrostatic force is given by the formula which I am going to write here. So this is the formula of the total pressure or hydrostatic force and since it is force the unit would be either in terms of Newton or it can be in terms of kilonewton. Then the formula is rho g area into h bar where rho is the density of this fluid or the static fluid inside which the plate is immersed g is acceleration due to gravity having constant value 9.81 next capital A is the area of this plate called as the cross section area now h bar is the distance suppose I am considering that here is the centroid of this plate so the distance measured this is the free liquid surface and we can see by this symbol that the surface is exposed to atmospheric pressure because this being an open tank so the distance measured from the free liquid surface I am denoting it as FLS up to point G which is the centroid of the plate that distance is called as H bar distance from free liquid surface to the centroid of the plate so from this we can find the hydrostatic force or total pressure. Next where this force acts that location is called as center of pressure that is from FLS at how much depth the force is acting that depth is called as center of pressure and it is given by So there would be two different set of formulas 
one for horizontal and vertical surfaces and the other for inclined surfaces i am writing the formula So the depth of center of pressure is denoted by H star and it is Ig upon AH bar plus H bar for horizontal and vertical surfaces where Ig is the moment of inertia about the centroid about an axis which is parallel to the free liquid surface that is I am considering here that this is x axis. So we have to calculate Ig about x axis because it is parallel to the free liquid surface. Then after that for inclined surfaces the formula is Ig sin square theta upon AH bar plus H bar where theta will indicate the inclination of the plate and as we see from both the formula that in H bar this extra term is added so because of that H star value will always be greater than H bar value and for that if H bar is up to the centroid then H star will go even beyond this point so now I will be denoting H star just taking an example that it acts over here so this point basically would be called as CP also called as the center of pressure and its height from the free liquid surface is denoted by H star so this is the depth where the total pressure acts and when I shift this into this diagram this would be acting the total pressure would be acting at the center of pressure so this is the location and now the example in which I have taken it is a vertical plate so F is acting exactly perpendicular to it so this is the total pressure also called as hydrostatic force exerted by the static liquid on the plate and its location from the free liquid surface is denoted by H star and while calculation for H star Ig has to be taken parallel to the free liquid surface because the formula is derived in such a way that Ig is parallel to the free liquid surface and H star would be having unit of either meter it can be centimeter mm etc because it is the height so that was regarding the total pressure and center of pressure at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it among your family and friends thanks for watching